Okay, so for Kant, an ethics of duty or deontology always acts for the sake of human dignity. Now, deontology is often contrasted with another ethical methodology or ethical philosophy called utilitarianism, or sometimes called consequentialism. And utilitarianism is sort of the opposite of deontology, where, where deontology would say always you have a duty to always respect persons. Utilitarianism, on the other hand, says you should only act if your action benefits every uh, benefits the greater good, or in, uh, specifically, uh, if your action results in the greatest good for the greatest number of people. So, for utilitarianism, for excuse me, for utilitarianism, uh, uh, made most famous by Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill, act your action should be judged on its consequences, namely if those consequences result in the greatest good for the greatest number of people. And by greatest good, it simply meant happiness, happiness. So you have two contrasting ethical ideologies or methodologies, deontology and utilitarianism, acting based on consequences and results versus acting uh, based on the intrinsic nature of the uh, uh, action uh, and the intention. So let me give you an example of, of two different, uh, a, a moral example and how utilitarians and deontologists would differ on it. Take the moral uh, or take the uh, moral conundrum of torture. Do you torture somebody? Well, and again, there's a lot of nuances to this question, but I'm just going to try to you know uh, make it as simple. Maybe it's oversimplified in a sense, but it'll give you a, a better sense of what is of, of how these um, ethical methodologies are applied. Uh, for torture for a deontologist, no, it's wrong. It, torture goes against the dignity of a human being. It is never acceptable to torture. Even if you know this person knows where, I don't know, the bomb is and what the code is, you can't torture them because they're a person, right? Utilitarian. The question is, do they, do, is torturing them going to result in, a, in the greatest good for the greatest number of people? Yes, maybe. Then torture them. In other words, sometimes utilitarianism can lead to, and not all the time, and John Stuart Mill was certainly against this, but sometimes uh, utilitarian reasoning can lead to the idea of the end justifying the means. The end justifying the means. So you can do evil if it will result in good. That's one. That's a big critique of utilitarianism. Now, John Stuart Mill tried to get around this, but generally speaking, if someone holds to a kind of strict utilitarianism, it's going to lead to ends justifying means. For example, war and things like this. You can do all kinds of terrible things in the name of the greater good. And so utilitarianism is really the philosophy or ethical methodology of the greater good, whereas deontology is kind of an absolutist ethic in a sense, where you must always be good and always act. Um, uh, you must always do good. You can never do evil that good may come.